Well, hello, I'm David Freeman Whip. Is that really in the Bible? Did you know that some Christians observe Saturday as the Sabbath day? Actually, I am one of those persons. I keep the seventh day Sabbath. We, uh, I'm part owner of a business also. We let our workers off on that day. We don't allow anybody to do work for us on that day. And as a teenager growing up, you know, my family, they kept the seventh day Sabbath. They went to church on that day, and they didn't do any work on that day. It was a, a rest day, a 24-hour period of rest from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. And I'll be honest with you, as a teenager, I really didn't care for it that much because, look, I had my life to live. And as soon as they would go off to church, I didn't go to church. I didn't want to go to church. As soon as they went off to church, I'd be out there washing my truck, making sure it's clean, getting ready for a date, you know. And uh, I'd be cleaning it up. But, uh, you know, I was sort of like, you know, that Bon Jovi song, uh, It's My Life. It's now or never. I'm not going to live forever. Uh, that, that was me, you know. I, 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 you know. It's my life. I'm going to do what I want to do. So I really didn't care for the Sabbath day. It wasn't until God called me and convicted me of the Sabbath that I started keeping it. But the majority of Christians, people, Christian people, keep Sunday as the, the Lord's Day. Now, as far as worship is concerned, I really don't think God gets that upset if, as far as one hour of worship. Okay. I don't think he gets upset if, if people do it on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. As far as one hour, I mean, as far as people just getting together and saying, hey, let's worship God, let's uh, have a little short little message, let's uh, pray, uh, praise, uh, sing some songs and prayer and maybe have a prayer request. And yeah, I, I don't think he gets upset, regardless of the day. But it's a little more to the Sabbath than just a one-hour worship. And that's what people overlook. Now, I want to ask some questions. Does it really matter which day we keep? The Sabbath? Saturday or Sunday? Now, it may not matter to you, but does it matter to God? And the second question is, how can we know for sure which day is the seventh day of the week? Well, let's look at Exodus 20, verse 8. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Notice that. I want you to remember it. I want you to keep it holy. Six days shall you labor and do all your work. That's specific. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, thy God. You know, the Sabbath identifies the God that you serve. Look, look at that again. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, thy God. Again, the Sabbath identifies the God that you serve. That's not a, you know, that's not just something you should toss out very quickly. You need to realize that. In it, you shall not do any work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your cattle, nor your, the stranger that is within your gate. Again, we give our workers off on this day, and I think they appreciate that. You know, they got, actually, they got the weekend off, uh, Saturday and Sunday. But uh, because we keep the Sabbath, you know, most businesses, if you go to work at it, most businesses, businesses they're going to work you on Saturday. You know, but we don't. We give our workers off. And I think they like that. Exodus 20 and verse 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that was in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Now, the, now let me just add something. You know, the reason you may want to keep the Sabbath is because there's a blessing connected to it. Did you pick up on that? The Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Anything that God blesses, I want to be a part of. Okay? I do. I really do. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.